So today is the 23rd of May and uh, today we've had a lamb born, uh, really out of season. We should have been well over lambing by now, but there's this lamb that's turned up and uh, I've, I've come to it as the shepherd this morning uh, to pick it up, do what we usually do, spray their navel, a bit of iodine to stop them getting any infection, keep them fit and healthy. And this little fella and his mum, <laughs> just so, he's, he's tired, bless him. <laughs> He's just gone quietly down. Um, yeah, wakey, wakey. I think he's trying to have a little pee, actually. It's his first, it's probably his first pee, and he's finding it a strange experience. Uh, but uh, we've got this, this lamb. We put a number on it to identify it with its mother. Same number on the lamb and on the mother. And uh, he's come to us today, a special little treat, as one untimely born. So when you get something born at a time, it makes you think, well, that's a bit odd, isn't it? What's going on? And it reminded me, as I was thinking about it, um, it reminded me of the Apostle Paul and something he says, because he spoke to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 15, 8, he spoke about being untimely born, as the old versions had it, one born out of the proper and appointed time. And he uses an interesting Greek word there to, to talk about it. Just as we've had a lamb born here with um, this sort of issue going on, uh, born at an unusual time. So Paul says, I wasn't like the other apostles. I wasn't walking around in Galilee with the Lord Jesus, learning from him, having, having the opportunity, all the privileges of, of learning him over three years. You know, the way, um, perhaps I felt a bit like that when I, I became a Christian. I hadn't had the benefit of Sunday school and all the people around me then had and they knew everything and I didn't, you know. I was a newcomer of, <laughs> out of time really, I suppose. They'd grown up with it and I hadn't. And um, I sympathise a bit with the Apostle Paul when he says that he was born out of the usual time. He's referring to, obviously, the, the Christian teaching, the teaching of Jesus in John chapter 3, that uh, to become a Christian you need to be born again, get a new spiritual life, be born again of the Holy Spirit. You can look at that in, in John chapter 3. Uh, Jesus says, you must. It's no good being religious, Nicodemus, you must be born again. And uh, that's what the, the Apostle Paul is referring to here, about being born out of the usual sort of time. Sometimes I've come across people in the course of my work who say, well, it's too late for me, Rev. You say, yeah, good luck converting me, Rev. Well, it's not me who does it anyway. We've just heard it's the Holy Spirit who does that for you. But uh, I'm just here to sort of stimulate things and move things along a bit if I possibly can. It's never too late, you know. That's what Paul's saying. I was born out of the usual time. And look at look what happened with Paul. Paul was the one who went on and took the, the church, the Christian message, right across Asia Minor and off into Europe church in Philippi and off from there uh, towards Spain and towards us of course in in the UK in Wales and uh, he was one who didn't become a Christian when he was a, a nipper a, a baban he, he became a Christian at a at a later stage altogether look while there's a pulse there's hope right <laughs> that's the basic situation we apply it when we're lambing you know if there's a bit of breath there's a bit of pulse going on there's there's hope and we still work on a lamb that's perhaps had a difficult birth not that we get many of those mercifully these days with the breeds we've got here but Look, don't ever say it's too late for me. Don't ever do that. The Apostle Paul could have said that, and he didn't. And look what he went on to achieve. And for those, those others of you who, who haven't got that many miles on the clock yet, let me just say this. Don't ever give up on the old bloke in the corner. Never underestimate the old bloke in the corner. That's, that's for true, especially if he's an old farmer. But uh, never give up. Never give up. While there's a pulse, there's hope. While well, his breath, his hope, the Apostle Paul was one who came into the world like that little lamb over there. Mothers are all bleating away because they think I'm going to give them extra bit of food. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, they're just greedy. Um, but uh, just never, never give up on one who could well become like that little lamb over there. One born out of the usual time we expect. And never give up on yourself. It's never too late. While well, his breath, his hope. Paul. One born out of the usual time could be you too. God bless you.